All right, it's the time of year. You know, the Woodward Dream Cruise might not start until this weekend, but the hype and the events surrounding it are already in full swing. And look at Kim. She's in full <laughs> swing, too, live at the M1 Concourse in Pontiac for the Woodward Dream Show. Looks like you're having fun, Kim. You know, I'm just amazed at the access that I've been given to some of these cars because they're so precious to people. And, you know, notice it's not it's not running, obviously, and I probably don't have the keys in here, but I at least get to sit in it. And I'm in here with uh, Tim McGrain, who is the CEO of M1 Concourse. Tim, thank you so much for being with us. What what an event. Well, thank you. So this is Corvettes on Woodward, um, which is an existing event previously held at a hotel property further down Woodward, and they decided last year after the event to bring it to M1, which we were very excited about. M1's on Woodward, so it worked out to be very good for Perfect. our venue. Right. Um, one of the things that we offered them is the ability to expand their event. Uh, so, I mean, at the moment, we got in excess of you know, 500, probably close to 600 cars here today. Um, and the event could grow you know, from here because of the size it is. And the big event, really, the show and the festival, Friday and Saturday, lots to do for the kids um, and also contingency plans because of rain. Now you have a tent, and so we don't want people to be deterred by the rain. But tell us about Friday and Saturday. So Friday and Saturday, Woodford Dream Show and Festival. Friday, we focus on the Pontiac GTO. Mm -hmm. This year is the 60th anniversary of the launch of what is known as America's first muscle car. Yeah. Uh, and we, we got a big celebration about that. We're going to have you know, one of each of the the models that were made and a special display of 60 Corvettes, the five generations. Uh, Saturday, we're going to celebrate all things 1964. So as mm. well as the GTOs, we're going to have what would be all the cars of a, of a 1964 motor show on okay. display in one area. Uh, we've got music from the 60s. So we've got the Beatlemania, Motown, the Beach Boys, um, lots of things to do for family. And as you say, we've got probably the largest tent structure we have put up on M1 so far, which we were going to do anyway, uh, right. but it's certainly along with our event center. Um, should we have, you know, reason to be concerned about yeah. the weather, <laughs> we can keep the party going. Well, we're still hoping that that won't be the case, but I'm glad that you are prepared. Yeah. And this car, by the way, belongs to a man named Harley uh, and his wife, Barb, and it's a 1962. It's incredibly rare, especially because of the color. It's fawn beige. And I, I mean, I think it suits us, doesn't it? Isn't it, it, it just it beautiful? Does. Let's go. It's beautiful. And, <laughs> and the owner, he's owned this since 1971. So he's had it quite a long time and he's letting me sit in it. I don't see keys though. I don't, do, does I it, suspect he's got them in his pocket. I suspect he has them in his pocket too, far away from me. So we'll see if someone will give me the keys. I'm here till 6.30. We'll see. Send it back to you guys. Ask Bob for those keys and take it for a spin, Kim. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, but yeah. no one's really offered their keys yet. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Kim. We'll check back with you later.